It comes after months of speculation and rumor, but tonight we know the charges that two men will face for the killing of 23-month-old Jasper Wu on an Oakland freeway. You'll remember this story. The little boy killed when his family's car was caught in a rolling gun battle. NBC Barry's Valina Joan explains the victim's family now says they're disappointed with the DA's decision. The charging decision by Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price means the two men accused of killing young Jasper Wu will not face the possibility of life without parole. And that's an issue for the Wu family. At this point, uh, transparency is so important from the DA office. And, uh, and you know, time after time we're seeing so many so-called plea deals and or even charges being uh, dropped. Uh, it's not comforting. Ivory Bivens and Trevor Green will face murder charges with gang enhancements in the case. Police believe Jasper Wu was killed when his family's car was caught in the crossfire of a gang shootout on 880 back in 2021. Community leader Carl Chan says Jasper's family is frustrated by the new DA's decision to drop some of the enhancements set in place by former DA Nancy O'Malley. We're not only talking about uh, how many years. It's about uh, what message are we, are we willing to send uh, to, be, to the people that are committing crimes against you know, uh, an innocent families? While Jasper's family believes the changes are significant, Ivory Bivens attorney Ernie Castillo believes the changes won't mean much for his client who is still facing the possibility of 265 years behind bars. No, I think those are changes without a difference, really. My client's still facing an indeterminate life sentence. So from my perspective, nothing has changed, and, and we're going to be prepared to fight this thing all the way through. Castillo plans to fight the gang enhancement and is adamant that there's no evidence linking his client to the rolling gun battle. I feel like the way it's charged, they've succumbed to the political pressure surrounding this case, and I really hope that they see the problems in this case and do the right thing. The preliminary hearing established quite clearly that Mr. Bivens had nothing to do with this case. The other defendant, Trevor Green, who police say was in the same car as Bivens, is facing 175 years in prison if convicted. A third suspect, who's now been ruled a victim by a judge, will face a felony firearm charge. In a statement, Price says, we will continue to hold these men accountable for these serious charges that will likely land them behind bars for the rest of their lives. In Oakland, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.